Aditi Anant Narayanan and Dev Ankur Badhavan joined us uh, now for more on this story. I want to come across to Aditi first. Uh, Aditi, uh, not pleasant news if you're part of the BJP's old guard, third leader that we know of now who's been uh, denied a ticket uh, from the first choice constituency. Absolutely, Pierre. When we speak about uh, Murli Manohar Joshi, LK Adwani, or now the latest Jaswan Singh, the party has made it very clear that as far as the serial leaders is concerned, the party does not really uh, bother with what are the considerations and what are the demands made by these senior leaders. Now, these are the senior leaders, Pierre, who actually made the BJP. These are the senior leaders who actually brought to the BJP where it is today. And the party clearly is absolutely defined of uh, on accepting their desires. Um, uh, when we speak about Murli Manohar Joshi, he had to finally vacate his seat of Varanasi. Uh, as we talk about LK Advani, he had to finally give in and contest from Gandhinagar. And so with Jaswan Singh, he had made the desire, he had made it uh, quite clear to the party top brass that he wants to contest from Barmer. It is his home. Uh, we seem to having a satellite problem there with Aditi. We're going to correct that in just a bit. Uh, Dev Ankur is also on the phone line with us from Jaipur. Uh, Dev, help viewers understand the local dynamics uh, behind uh, this move uh, by Vasundara Rajay to back Colonel Sonaram over just one thing. Uh, well, here, uh, Colonel Sonaram Chaudhary, uh, his joining the BJP had been in offing for some time, uh, for around a month's time. But no one knew that uh, the things would pan out in such an ugly manner. Uh, clearly, the veteran has been dispensed with at the altar at the expense of uh, Colonel Sonaram Chaudhary. For one, is considered as someone who, who was endowed alone while he was in the Congress. Uh, he was he was considered as someone who was working at cross purposes with with uh, with the Congress Party. And uh, Vasundra had been wooing him for some time. He's considered as a strong jazz leader from that particular region, from the Barmer region. Uh, this is bordering the area of Rajasthan and is considered as someone who has influence over the Jat community out there and that is one reason why uh, Vasundara Raji did want uh, uh, did want uh, Colonel Suraram Chaudhary to be given a seat uh, from there despite the fact that uh, Jaswan Singh's supporters from there and the man himself had uh, huge reservations. Uh, Jaswan Singh has already gone on record mentioning that he wanted to fight his last election uh, from his birthplace uh, from, from Barmer and uh, clearly that was not to be uh, because Vasundra Raji did not want uh, an, uh, an, uh, an alternative uh, power uh, camp to be erected in Rajasthan. She has more than four years to serve in Rajasthan. She was recently elected uh, with a huge mandate. She had won more than 160 seats out of a total of 200 seats. So it's, it's, it's a clear decisive mandate and she was able to convince the party uh, top brass that despite the fact that despite uh, even if uh, uh, Jaspan Singh was not to be given the ticket, uh, Colonel Sona Ramchaudhary would be able to win uh, decisively because it is a huge wave uh, uh, in favour of Narendra Modi. Uh, it apparently, it seems that uh, the, the, the party uh, chieftains were able to uh, get convinced uh, with Vaishnav Singh with Narendra Modi. The top brass was able to uh, was uh, was convinced of of the of the kind of. Uh, Persuasive tactics that were used by Vasundra Raji. She had taken uh, Sonaram Chaudhary from uh, Rajasthan to Delhi along with her, and they had met uh, the top party leaders out there. And uh, what the party is thinking is that in the long run, this may just benefit uh, the party because uh, just one thing uh, is considered as someone who, who has uh, more or less uh, lived his political tenure. Uh, and uh, like Murli Manohar Joshi, like uh, right. Ed Bani, the party is now thinking to dispense away with or has already put these senior leaders on the periphery here. Dave and Aditi, many thanks for getting us those perspectives on this breaking story.